Yo, what is going on guys? We're bringing you NHL 17 build your hockey ultimate team in this video We're just gonna talk about building your team synergies and just basically if you're new to this game I'm hoping I could help you. This is probably more towards the casual NHL player Maybe this is your first NHL game and you're trying to get into hockey ultimate team the first step is making your team. You're already going to have a starting lineup, but if you want to make a new one and push aside all the other stuff, if you open some packs or get any players from things, is you create your team. You can call it whatever you want, but it has to be at least five letters. And what's new this year is there is something called Synergy, which last year there was Team of the Week for Chemistry. There was Change Positions. No more Change Positions. There's no more Training anymore. There's no more, there's no more Chemistry. Instead, there's Synergy, which Synergy, if you guys don't know with, what it does is if you have X amount of players who are Dirty Danglers to get the Dirty Dangler Synergy, you need four Dirty Danglers on your team, and each player is going to get a boost to stats that would represent Dirty Dangling, I guess. So like deking stuff like that but we're gonna first start out with our left wing and let's just show you guys so i have a few guys here they each have their little synergy if you hit up on the left stick it says oj obviously it doesn't actually say their full thing but this is offensive juggernaut if you didn't know and offensive juggernaut adds two to slap shot power strength offensive awareness and accuracy to the players who have oj on it not to your full team but to the players there so it's basically like getting a plus two on certain stats and maybe this is what suits you guys and this is what makes you good there's other ones like speedster that we're going to go over later and just other ones that maybe it's going to really suit towards your team instead of having a basic chemistry thing that maybe some people weren't really sure how that worked or exactly how it helped with this year it's exactly pinpointing what stats are getting increased on which players so you guys will actually be able to see the basic cards are all going to have one synergy and the team of the week ones and just better cards than movembers and stuff like that they're going to have more synergies or higher up ones and all stuff like that so it's going to be very exciting building your team you obviously like i said before you don't really want to build it on the best players unless they're your favorites but like right now i have passing playmaker and offensive juggernaut and i'm going to try to build my fourth line of speedsters obviously this might not be the greatest thing to do because, like I said, this isn't my best players right here. I feel like for a fourth line type role who probably aren't going to be playing too much, having plus speed on them when they're already quick players is just going to be overkill. So if they play like three to four minutes, maybe they can get a breakaway here or there. And they're not the worst players, but like I'm saying, it helps the team with the synergy. So they've got like 90 speed plus and then they're adding three with the speedsters, two to three, whatever the the actual stat is that's going to be really huge for them they're going to be like the quickest players ever putting my fourth line against maybe the other person's fourth line who might be really slow is just going to be overkill that's what i'm doing with my forward group you guys could do whatever you want if you guys play a really defensive game maybe you want to have shot blocking synergy on or different synergy if you want to get better at your passing but you could put tape to tape on and have a bunch of them and then they're all getting plus two it doesn't have to be four to four you could have your whole entire team of speedsters or whatever and everyone's going to get the plus speed acceleration and all stuff like that and also a big thing is coaches also have their own synergy and they're plus three to that synergy so if you're like two or three away for tape to tape well here you go this coach is going to add three to that and I'm five of six, so I don't actually have it yet. If I do add another player, we will have that. And goalies also have synergies as well. Goalies also have synergies, and there's a bunch of them to choose from. I don't have that many goalies, but as you quickly look here, there's a bunch to choose from. So you could really add a lot there. So there's the goalies, there's the forwards, there's the defensemen, there's the coaches. So there's a lot you could build on. And like I said, there's just so much creativity with this to really help your strong suit and to play the best hut you can. So once your team is finished, you could change your power play, your penalty kill, your shootout lineup, and all that stuff like that. Like I said, power play maybe you want someone you could put a forward there because there's no more chemistry so you could put a defenseman on forward and it doesn't matter you can't obviously put like a forward on a goalie but defensemen and forwards are interchangeable and they won't mess up your chemistry so if you really want to put brett burns on the right wing or the left wing you can go do that and it won't mess up anything and once you're all done there's a long range of stuff you could do you could play a friend you do online seasons draft champions single player seasons and much more and as you win games you earn coins to buy better players to do sets and all stuff like that so i really hope you guys have a really fun year with hut and this was how to build your hockey ultimate team Who said you